Today, I'm going to be doing extreme sports in Crocs. I chose four sports that have very specific footwear, but instead, I'm gonna put the Crocs in sport mode and absolutely rip it. Skateboarding. I have two goals. Complete the pump track and drop in. Starting with this pump track. This entire thing is pretty terrifying, but I'm gonna go down this very steep hill and then do a bunch of these humps and then finally to the hardest section, the bowl. By far the scariest part of this entire skate park experience. And I've never done a feature like this before ever in my life. Why the heck am I wearing Crocs? You might remember that last year while filming a video with Tony Hawk, I legitimately separated my shoulder. So yeah, I'm not exactly stoked for this part. Oh, my life just flashed before my eyes, holy smokes. I don't know if I'm cut off for this. <laughs> Things were off to a great start, and honestly, I'm kind of getting the hang of it, which is exactly when the skateboard decided that, well, it had a mind of its own. Oh! 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 That's what happens when you take the ball. Oh! Frick! That hurt. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks to when I separated my shoulder last time when I filmed that Tony Hawk video. Oh, that hurts so bad. And to make it even worse, these children decided to humble me by making this look incredibly easy. How are they doing that? But I'm not about to give up. I am convinced that the Crocs can do anything. Ah, hardly that corner. Bro, I'm having a very difficult time like getting the corner without launching off the end of this. So maybe I need to go up a little further and then dip down so that I can come over this hump. Otherwise I'm gonna land flat on my back. Come on, baby. That was awesome. Okay, this is the literal place that I separated my shoulder last year while filming a video about learning how to do a kickflip. Right there, at that spot. That was very painful. Now I'm gonna drop in and hopefully not separate my shoulder again. There's, there's a lot of stakes involved here, okay? Holy freak, I'm scared. I'm terrified. I don't wanna smack my head at the back of this. I don't know if I should do it. My wife would tell me not to. I just, not, I'm afraid I'm not gonna lean forward enough. Kinda of scary. Crocs, do not let me down. Oh gosh, I'm terrified. <laughs> Almost another separated shoulder. Dude, I, I can't make this up. <laughs> this area of the skate park is cursed. Good lord! Most people would quit at this point. Not me. Oh! Woo! Too easy! Let's get out of here. Time for the next sport. I'm done with skateboarding. Up next, rock climbing. Probably one of, if not the most dangerous sports on the planet. And if there's one thing that I know about climbing is that there's a very specific shoe you're supposed to use. It's not Crocs, as far as I'm concerned. That's a shoe I wish I had. I'm doing Crocs. My safety expert, Drew, here did the climb first just to show me what I'm up against. And, well, I'm realizing how terrible of an idea this is. The beginning's gonna be pretty easy. You got most of the wall facing in, so you kind of just walk up through the first two draws. But then you got these bad pockets on the left, and from there, you have to jump. J jump up the wall. Yeah. My goal is to finish the Crux, which includes a very difficult jump. All right, I mean, it seems like uh, pretty easy with Crocs, honestly. Thoughts? Yeah, I, I don't think so. I think halfway would be generous. Uh, maybe a quarter of the way? I don't know, what do you think? To the top, baby, in the Crocs. Yeah, Drew did not have much faith in me either. And with that, my terrible idea is in motion. <laughs> You got it. Big holds, big reaches. Rocks. Dude, that's not looking good from the start. Hey, hey, that's hey, not hey. a good first move. Have some faith in me. Uh, I know you got it through the second bolt, for sure. I'm on your team here. I wanna get my foot up here. I was realizing pretty early on that my Crocs are not very great at gripping this wall and definitely not great at small holds that traditional climbing shoes are legitimately made for. You can find some good feet there that might, the Crocs might work with. Okay. Holds aren't bad yet. We're doing okay. You're looking good. Looking strong. The Crocs are doing okay. Thankfully, my past climbing experience is paying off and I'm making some solid progress. 
I don't really like that. Ah, I don't like that. Woo! -hoo. Look at that foot maneuver. Incredible. Oh, this is the jumpy jump. All right, guys. This is where things get serious. This is some Jimmy Chin, Alex Honnold type crap here, okay? Ooh, I'm shaking, bro. I'm shaking. This is a shot of pure determination. A man, some Crocs, and a rock wall. Let's see if I got it. Let's see if I got it. Ah, frick! Woo! We were close. I feel like I get a few tries though. First attempt did not go as well as I'd hoped. That's okay. All right, I gotta go hard for this. Here we go. Come on. Ah! I was there! All right, I feel like I got one more attempt in me. Too easy. Let's get it. Let's get it. Too easy. Come on, dude. Truth be told though, I really didn't think that I was gonna be able to do that. It just goes to show that you'll never know unless you try. So, you know, you may as well give it a go. Where do I go from here? Big right heel hook, like at hand level, yeah. <sighs> heel hooking with Crocs, <sighs> not ideal. <laughs> as much effort as I put in, that's as far as the croc goes. I'd say that that was probably too easy. That was probably the worst shoe you could wear for something like that. I'm gonna do another sport. That guy's an idiot. Yeah, I'm gonna try to BMX. Somehow these sports are getting harder and harder. BMX, I have never BMXed in my life. Just bought this bike for $30 off of Facebook Marketplace. And I'm on a legitimate BMX course right now. I'm going to try to complete the whole course in 60 seconds. Even just watching other people do this is definitely kind of scary. I don't feel comfortable. So that's gonna make this very fun for me. Hopefully the Crocs will not fall off of my feet like they did while I was climbing. Seems like a lot of room for error, which I am, as you've already seen, pretty good at. Let's see if the Crocs can do it. Why is this so scary? Okay, here I go. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Yep, yep, yep. Oh yeah, big air. Oh yeah. Holy smoly, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That's scary, oh my gosh. Oh. Whew. Big air, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh sweet mother of God. Bigger. Oh, I'm almost there. Final loop, final loop. Final loop, I gotta hit this turn. Oh, oh come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, BMX is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. The Crocs made it. They did the trick. I'm ready for the next sport though. Let's do this thing. Surfing, yes. I'm taking the Croc to the next level, below sea level. I'm gonna be surfing today. I'm at a surf pool. I'm pretty stressed out right now because I haven't surfed for like four years. Wasn't particularly good at it then. I literally split a muscle on my arm while I was surfing once. So surfing, most people do not wear Crocs. I would guess all of them. I'm about to change the sport forever, okay? This sport, consider it changed. Let's go surfing. <laughs> oh gosh. When I first started my YouTube channel, I was actually living in San Diego surfing almost every day, but I had pretty much no luck on the platform. Kind of ironic that things really started to pick up when I started my Santa Tesla series on that very beach, which kickstarted my entire journey into becoming a creator. I guess it's fitting that I'm back on the board. <laughs> Hopefully I still got it. I have two goals. I wanna catch one singular wave and not lose my specialized waterproof camera. Yeah, let's just say that I'm way out of my league on these waves. I did catch a wave early on, but um, well, I immediately ate it. And well, I definitely lost my camera 
that's literally been everywhere with me. Rest in peace, my friend. Pretty much everything is going wrong. Um, my long lost skills are not showing up and I'm getting absolutely ripped apart by these waves. I keep trying, but I keep failing. Kind of like how I started that YouTube channel. <laughs> It's, it's actually pretty hilarious if you think about it. But like most things in life, it takes just a tad bit of determination and willpower. And, well, I got it. <laughs>